What's up pups, how you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. So today I have my first ever, is it really my first ever? DIY video. I asked you guys on Twitter if there were any specific videos that you wanted to see on my filming day, which is usually every Sunday. Luna's going nuts, sorry. And someone requested that I do a DIY video on how to make bottle cap magnets. I figured that I have all of the supplies here at my house because literally, my craft room is like a Michaels. So let's do it, let's make these DIY magnets. So these are some magnets that I actually made last night using a similar method as what we're gonna be doing today, except for instead of these giant beads, we're gonna be using bottle caps. These are actually gonna be for sale in my Etsy shop in the next coming months. They're just a fun little stocking stuffer item that I made and I'll have them for sale in my Etsy shop. So these are really fun and today I'm gonna show you how to make something similar using bottle caps. Okay, so to start, you will need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need some bottle caps, doesn't matter what color they are. You will need some sort of magnet, whether it's loose magnet or roll magnet. You're gonna need a pen or pencil. You'll need either a comic book or some other type of printable that you want to use. You'll need either regular Regular Mod Podge, it could be glass or matte, whatever you prefer, or you'll need some dimensional magic from Mod Podge. There's a regular and a glitter version, so whatever you prefer. You'll also need a glue gun, and you'll need a quarter. Okay, so with all these items, we can get started. First things first, you need to go through and find the images that you want for your bottle cap. I think this image works really well, this image works really well, and I really like the saying right here in this bubble that says right here, nutcase. So I'm gonna start by putting my quarter down, and I'm gonna draw around the corner. Now I'm using a pencil. You can use a pen if you want. I just prefer pencil because you can actually erase the marks when you're done. I'm gonna do the same thing over here and I'm gonna do the same thing on this image right here. So now that I have my circles in place, because I wanna save this sheet, because there are a couple of other images on here that I would like to use in the future, I'm just gonna cut squares around the circles. And we're specifically gonna be working with these three circles. So this quarter is really good to use for measuring because it fits perfectly inside of the bottle cap. But remember, when you trace the quarter, it's actually gonna be a little bit bigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut on the inside of the line, not on the outside. So there's my semi-imperfect circle. <laughs> All right, so here are our circles. Look how cute they look, and they're so not straight, but it's fine. So now I'm gonna pick what colors I want. So the good thing about the pack that I have is that I feel like Harley Quinn fits all of these colors. So I'm gonna use a pink, a blue, and a black in this instance. These I purchased from Michaels, and what I like about them too is that they have holes in the sides. You can actually use these to also make necklaces and bracelets, and they're just really fun to work with. Okay, and now this next step is optional, so I didn't even say that it's a product that you need. There is such product as an adhesive, like, sticker tape thing. You can actually use this to stick your image into the bottle cap. However, it's not necessary, because once we add the Mod Podge, it's gonna stick regardless. As an added extra little protection, I am gonna use one of these little sticky things to adhere my image. Okay, and there it is. So my image is inside of the bottle cap. Literally as simple as that. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. That's a lot of glue. Okay, so now we have our images stuck inside of our bottle caps. Obviously they're not protected like this though. We do need to put a coating over top of it and now this is where you have a couple choices. So you can use just basic gloss or matte Mod Podge. Usually a bottle like this is about eight or nine dollars and it lasts forever. So this is what I would recommend if you're just starting out. Um, I think it's a really great product and you can use this for so many different types of things. It can also be used as a glue, um, a sealant and a finish. But for me, I personally really like these Mod Podge Dimensional Magics. This basically mimics resin, so it makes it look like it actually has like a dome over top of it. Because I have three options and there's also three bottle caps, I'm just gonna use one of each on each bottle cap to show you the outcome of what it looks like. So we're gonna start with the plain Dimensional Magic and I'm just gonna fill in, see it comes out very quick, so you have to be careful. But I'm gonna fill in over top of the Harley image, including around the corners. Oh, and this product, if it creates bubbles, it will dry with the bubbles. So try not to squeeze it too quickly. And if you do get any bubbles, just use something sharp, like a needle or a pen point to pop any bubbles. This is gonna need to dry for about 30 minutes. Typically with Dimensional Magic, it does tell you to wait for three hours, but because we didn't use a large amount, this will dry rather quickly and we can at least finish the magnet to show you. I'm gonna use this glitter Dimensional Magic on our other Harley. All right, this one comes out much slower only because I didn't trim the tip of it so much. 
try to make sure that you coat it very even as well because it will create rid ridges. And I promise you it will not look that cloudy once it's dry, so don't worry about that as well. So those are the two that we've done so far. And now it's time to use just the basic Mod Podge. Now for this, you do need some sort of dowel or paintbrush because um, you don't really want to stick your finger in that. I would recommend just buying like one of those like 12 packs of like basic watercolor brushes that are like a dollar. Um, and then just put some on your brush and we're gonna paint it on. Now don't worry, this will dry clear as well. This is definitely a much more messy method, but it really comes down to what you prefer. Also, it smells really gross, so just be prepared for that. <laughs> it just smells like, it smells like a really strong blue. <laughs> okay, so normally at this point, you should leave these to dry for about 30 minutes, but I am gonna show you how to apply the magnet because honestly, once this is dry and your magnet's on, you're done. So I used a roll magnet, but they do sell loose magnets. You can go either way, it doesn't matter. I just like to form it so it's a little bit flatter to work with since it isn't circular and as long as it lays flat, you're good to go because then it will stick to your fridge. Now what I'm going to do is just cut this into three pieces. We have three pieces of magnet. Now it is already adhesive on the back, however it's not a very strong adhesive. So what I like to do with the adhesive side facing up, I take my hot glue gun, I apply a strip of glue, I take the magnet. and I just apply the magnet to the back. Now that dries almost instantaneously, so I just lay it down, and now we're just waiting for the Mod Podge on the inside to dry. Do the same thing here. Apply the glue. And back of the magnet. All right, same with our last one. Apply the glue. Put it on the back. All right. So now those are gonna sit and dry for about 30 minutes and I'll show you the finished product once they are complete. Okay, so these are now done just to show you what they look like when they are dry. So in certain light you can see how it reflects like the actual brush strokes from the Mod Podge that we used. It does give it a nice little gloss, so this would be option number one if you just wanna buy a big container of the Mod Podge. This is the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic that we used without glitter. So as you can see, it dries very solid and it looks a little bit more resin-like compared to this one right here. And this is the last one that we did. It is the Dimensional Magic with glitter. I personally love this one. I think it's really fun just because it adds a little bit of a glittery touch to it. These are the three options you have when creating your magic. Magnets, so let's stick them on the fridge and see how they look. Here they are on the fridge. I think they look super cute. I think they look really great and I'm super happy with how they came out. And underneath them, these are the glass magnets that I have made. Like I said, these will be listed up in my shop very soon. These are examples of other bottle cap magnets that I've made. But again, I am really happy with the ones that we made today and I hope that you guys make them and show me what yours look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial was easy enough to follow along and I can't wait to see some of the magnets that you guys create. If you make the magnets, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see them. Links to my Twitter and my Instagram are down below. So make sure you follow me and let me know when you make them. I'm so excited to see them, yeah! If you guys want to see more DIYs in the future, leave me a comment down below and like this video so I know that it's something that you want me to continue doing. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye everyone!